So I went ahead and cut it in half. And I would just do a little taste on it. I'll get a little piece up here with the some of the seasoning on the outside of it as well. Very good. Very juicy. The salt's good on it. I'd say that's a hit. So I got this huge pork loin. Took out the freezer and let it thaw overnight in the kitchen sink. And it's almost 20 inches long. And I think I'm gonna make a, uh, a rotisserie uh, roast with it today. And do it in the air fryer. Did one a while back, but I stuffed it. But this one I'm not gonna stuff. Let me just season it. And I'll probably go around right here with it. Plus the juices will stay in. So that'll be my, my loin I'm gonna use. And I will go ahead and tie it. And when you tie your first knot, leave this string kind of long. So basically what you want to do is just come up about another inch. Just go under with your string. And we'll try to keep everything in line here. And then do the same again. And just keep on going all the way across with it. Same method. This will just make the roast cook more evenly. I probably didn't tie my string long enough. That's okay. We gotta add another piece to that one. Just kind of tie it back together here. Something like that. Probably go one more here. And then go ahead and flip it. This is your first string. And now we'll tie these together. And I usually just put two knots in the middle and I'll kind of hold it together. And then uh put your final knot in it. Like that. And to season it. We're going to use uh, one teaspoon of basil, thyme, and rosemary, one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and that's it. We're going to mix all that together and season the outside of the roast with it. The uh, first thing we'll do is rub the outside with some uh, olive oil. So let me get the uh, seasoning uh, blended up here. And just to get just to get everything a little bit more uh, finer, I'm a that's everything mixed together, and I'm gonna kind of grind it a little bit finer in my uh, mortar and pesto, I think they call it, just to get the rosemary a little bit more crushed up. something like that I will go ahead and season the uh, meat so first thing we'll do this will make the, uh, the actual seasoning stick to it is we'll get a, a little bit of olive oil and pretty much rub the the whole uh, roast with it maybe a tablespoon and I will go ahead and season it and just put it on i am use all of it I'm 
may as well. And just get the ends and everything real good. But uh, I'll, I'm going to use it all. And this is a 2 pound 11 ounce uh, pork loin roast. So I went ahead and put the skewer through it. Yeah, might be a little bit off uh, offset, but we'll see how it spins once I put it in the air fryer. And just to get it started, we're going to do 375 for 30 minutes. So I got my uh, roast in there. And like I said, this is a little bit off kilter, but it'll be okay. I think it'll cook all right. 375 for 30 minutes. And hit the start button. And then hit the rotisserie, which is this button. And one thing I forgot to add is a little bit of garlic powder. So this is one teaspoon of garlic powder with some olive oil. And instead of taking the roast out, I'm going to just baste it uh, once as it turns. And that'll get the, uh, the garlic on there. So as it, when it turns one more time, I'll finish basting it and just let it keep cooking. So this was the uh, first cook cycle. And... It's nowhere near. I mean, it's it was it was actually going down on my meat thermometer to like 60 degrees. So we and it was pretty cold when when I put it in here this morning. So we're gonna go another 25 minutes at 375. After that cook cycle, now we're sitting at 136. So we got a little bit of ways to go, but it's getting there. We're gonna go ahead and do it for 15 minutes this time at 375 so that additional cook time and it's pretty much there it's actually uh, above where I really wanted it to be so maybe I should have went in five minute increments but that's fine it'll still be okay so right in the middle right there let's see where it settles out at it's still dropping. That's about in the mid part of the roast. I'm going to go ahead and take it out and let my thermometer cool off a little bit. And then I'll put it back in and check it again here. So I think we're sitting probably at around 160 or so. Which is still good. That's not quite well done. Uh, I actually wanted it to be like a medium. So I was trying to get it to like 155, but that's fine. Right now we're sitting at uh, 164. So if you wanted a little bit more, uh, less well done, just uh, cook it, uh, you know, go in five minute increments and then check it. So there you go. That's how you make a rotisserie pork loin. Like I said, about two, two pounds, 11 ounces in the air fryer. I actually made this a little ahead of time. So I'm gonna just kinda, I'm gonna take it out, wrap it in some foil. And I got about another hour or so before uh, lunch. So I just wanted to get it cooked a little early today. So that's how it looks on the plate. I think that's gonna be pretty dang good. And here's a tool that it comes with where you can uh, take it out there for our wit. You just basically uh, put it on each one of these little ends and that's how you pick it up. And I, I got to take the screws out and I got to take the string off. But that's how you do it. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks.